What about some viewers? This is satellite media. Let us have a renowned political affairs analyst in the person of uh, Mr. Jerome, who is uh, from Imo State. We have some opinion of Nigerians, particularly people from the southeastern part of the country. What they think about Samana Ekpa, the Finland baby Biafra agitator, who recently returned his uh, gold medal he won for Nigeria to Nigerian government. Recently, he have announced, or rather renounced his Nigerian citizenship, and he want to focus on Biafra sovereignty. Mr. Jerome, what do you think this means for Biafra and the relationship Samuel Bahita to have had with Nigeria? Um, well, uh, if you look at Samuel Epa very well, he has been in the struggle and he believed in the struggle. And the returning the gold medal signifies that, in fact, he don't believe in Nigeria anymore. And Nigeria is no more his country. And he, he strongly believed that Biafra is his country. And he is working towards it in order to make sure that Biafra stands. So I think this is exactly why he returned the gold medal. Okay, now let me quickly ask you this because the sense of my have asked Southeastern governors, if, of course, both the traditional rulers, that they should stay away from negotiation for Nadukalo release and negotiation for Biafra. And people are asking, do Samuel Epa actually mean well for Nandekalo? Does it mean he do not want Nandekalo out? Uh, actually, if you look at it critically, you will understand that those governors, they are there for their own selfish interests. And they are the one who proscribed IPOP that was formed by Nandekalo. And they are the one who handed Nandekalo over to the Nigerian government. They are the one giving Nigerian government information about Namdekalo. So for them to come out now and say that they want to negotiate for his release, uh, if you look at it very well, you can see that there is a height of uh, hypocrisy in it. Um, someone never telling them to stay away. Actually, uh, he may be drawing his... Uh, uh, basis from what the southeast governors has already done before that may be from where he is telling them please don't negotiate from nandekalo but uh, if you look at nandekalo case the way it stands now in nigeria definitely he still needs hands that we join to make sure that they secure his release okay now let us look at uh, the matters arising from uh, trying to get nandekalo out we understand that uh, southeastern senators Met with the Attorney General of the Federation recently, drumming support for Nandukalo release. The governors, under the leadership of Opus of the Ma of Imo State, will be meeting with the President anytime from now. We have seen calls from different quarters. We have seen House of Assembly rep members, about 50 of them, cutting across different strata of the society, different political party. We saw some name from uh, Brano State, Kasina, Kogi, asking for Nandukalo release. And uh, in our body, we have said when they met with the Attorney General of the Federation, that Nadekalo is ready to accept any condition given by the federal government to secure his early release. Now, Mr. Jerome, in the event that Nadekalo has accept to drop Biafra agitation and get freedom, what do you think will happen to the struggle for Biafra freedom? Uh, let uh, Nadekalo, let him not try it at all, at all. Because if he dare try it, it means he has already killed himself, killed his career, as far as Igbo land is concerned. Because a lot of people have died because of this man. As in a lot, they have a lot. A lot of people has been disabled. They have burned so many people houses. They have done a lot of evil things in the southeast because of uh, Biafra agita agitation, which Nam de Carlo is the head, as far as IPOB is concerned. So, if he eventually come out now and say that he will drop or he has uh, dropped the struggle, means that uh, he is a, in fact means that he is not someone someone can trust or somebody anybody can follow uh, in that case people will see him as irrelevant and see him as a, a a coward in fact let me just use that word a coward if he dearly try to uh, uh, denounce or renounce biafra agitation now okay now finally on this under muhammad Buhari, we had a situation where the Igbos, the political class came together with the uh, traditional rulers and they met with the former president Muhammadu Buhari to ask for Nandukalo release. And uh, Buhari then said 
they have asked for a hat in. I'm worried after his tenure did not release uh, Martin and Carlo. This time around, do you think the Igbos can persuade Tunubu to do so, to raise him and Carlo? Uh, they can persuade because they have the right to do that. Uh, they have the ability to do that. Uh, the only people I can trust is the senators, which Enya Baribe is among, which everybody knows that Enya Baribe is, uh, is a man Igbo people can trust. When you come to uh, negotiations of agitation, and the, as far as he's involved, at least we have hope and believe that there is no kind of betrayal into it. But uh, if, you con if you talk about the governors, uh, I don't think we have any, any faith in those governors because uh, those ones can do otherwise. So uh, regarding issue of Nam de Carlo critically, if you look at it critically, which everybody knows that in the case of Tinubu, now Tinubu is in a very tight corner to release him, and he wants to follow the footsteps of his uh, predecessor, which is uh, Muhammad Buare, that heartened his heart like Pharaoh, re refused to release uh, Nam de Carlo, who committed no offense, only agitating for his freedom, which everybody has the right to do so. But uh, Tinubu. It will be difficult for Tinubu to release him because of a lot of uh, things surrounded that government. That will be the major challenge Tinubu. But in his heart, he may be convinced based on what he would like to achieve. But it will be so difficult. It will be much difficult, my brother. I think I'm okay. I must say a very big thank you for your time, Mr. Jerome. We hope to have you next time. But let us quickly have Mr. Opara, the new Okokundem. Mr. Bara, you are welcome. We are looking at uh, what is coming from uh, the Finland based Biafra Agitator and talking about uh, um, Simon Epa, who recently announced that he renounced the Nigerian citizenship and he officially returned the athletic medal in one for Nigeria in sporting events. Now, the question is what does it mean for Biafra and Nigerian relationship? Um, you can see, I am Mr. Paradeni Oko Kundem. In this Republic of Biafra, Liba Mazin Nam de Kalo, and this IP OB government of Biafra. For that, Yahweh, I thank you, I praise you for your, all your goodness to all mankind. Be glorified in Jesus' name. You see, um, Sam on Epa, the God given Ebu Prime Minister to Biafrans who stand in the gap that uh, kidnapping of Nam de Kalo have created. The gap, the gap cannot be number have created. Someone ever came to feed the gap, and to continue to be doing what Nam de Kalu could have done if he's free in outside. So, and to him to return all the whole thing, lick him, medal. lick him with Nigeria. The medal, he don't want the medal in the name of Biafra. He want the medal in the name of Nigeria. So he returned it back to them. Like um, Francis uh, Akanubiam did during the first Biafran Republic, return all the whole medals that British give to him back to Britain. Now, at the name, the uh, Samuel came out openly and denounced that he's no more citizen of Nigeria, but he is indigenous of Biafra. Now, and a citizen of Finland. Now, you cannot say someone like I have dual uh, citizenship. But if I may ask you this, Mr. Opara, now, Biafra is not yet a sovereign state and is not recognized in the International Committee, in the Committee of Nations. In them, Finland, don't you think a someone like is bearing Nigerian passport? No, he has returned anything concerning Nigerian property. He has returned it to them. He don't have Nigerian passport anymore. He cannot travel with Nigerian passport. Nothing related to with Nigerian passport. Unless you are talking of Biafran passport, which is preparing for the, for the entire Biafra, not for him alone. Then if Biafra came to be, and he want to be Biafra citizen, and be Finland citizen, it's fine. If you have dual citizenship. And now, when looking at it, I don't think that Nigeria have more rights, or any right over someone anymore. You understand? Someone is not agitating for Nigeria. 
Is that not agitating to destroy Nigeria? Is not calling war against Nigeria? We are still talking for the freedom of their France. But finally, on this, let me ask you this question, Mr. Obara. Because some people have asked the governors in the south eastern part of the country, senators, traditional rulers, to stay away from negotiation with federal government for the Kalo release and to stay away from negotiating for Biafra. Does it mean it's an people do not want the Kalo released? Not so. These people that are negotiating for Nam de Kalo and Biafra, they are not Biafrans. They are Biafran by mouth, but by spirit, by character and action, they are not Biafra. They are full of, they are full of people of Nigeria. These people that you are, you are saying, they are going to betray Nam de Kalo. Are you yeah. saying somebody like Soludo, somebody like Opus Adema, somebody like Umba, all of them, they are not Biafra, they are not Biafra or what? They are not Biafrans. They are, Nigerian gov they, are, they are Nigerian governors in Biafra. They are Nigerian governors in Biafra. They will not say anything good for Biafra, neither for Nam de Kalo. How can you go and treat a person whom you shoot gone to him? How can you again say, so let me extract the bullet out of you, really a drug that shoot gone to him? But any now, Baribe, all of them, all of them are together. One, they are corrupt. They are the so the Nam de Kalo out. Remember, if and you I'm still quoting the time if and you pass in to if and you they attempt his life for to kill him. If and you make a video that go viral in the net that the assassin the assassin attempt on him to call known or non government at the handbook of his fellow politicians. They are trying to kill him to silence the secret between him and the people who masterminded the, the problem of Nam de Kalo. He mentioned Senator Abaribe fully. That is Senator Abaribe, in the daytime, he become a senator who is fighting for Bia France, who is working for Bia People will hear him, senator, senator. But in the dark behind, he turned to be another thing against Bia France. If I invested it clearly, everybody had it on this. You make wide allegation. Is this something you have a good authority or you are speculating? Not to wide allegation. I say it's the net that time, unless unless YouTube will scrub it out. Unless YouTube will scrub it. If YouTube will not if you search, you see it. He find you over video that went viral. And he say any attempt on his life again, he will expose everybody. People were shouting. They took Ifan Yuban jet to go and bring Nam de Kalo. To go and bring Is he the only one that committed in the condition of Nam de Kalo? And Hanes and Dibo. Even British, you know what this is? You know what this is? You have boasted that you get Nam de Kalo. You will get a uh, uh, salmon nectar to come and ask what is causing. Even the senator, if I knew back recently, I think. But all these are wide allegations that you may no, not be able to substantiate. You're, you're not following up. No wide allegation. You're not following up. If you're probably, you understand. You are a journalist. Go and do investigation. I know what I'm saying. Even. When uh, one guy from Anam Newi called um, Oji Okechuku, a drug dealer, who implicated Ifan Yuba, that Ifan Yuba know that he's selling drugs, Ifan Yuba permit him to be selling drugs. When, when someone reported on his Twitter that Ifan Yuba should stop that, Ifan Yuba put it back, someone very soon, he will fetch someone out to bring it down to Nigeria. Um, so, uh, but I think I have to let you go because of our time. I must say a very thank you for your time. This is satellite media. Thank you very much for your time. We hope to have you next time.